Yo, what's going on, PokeChamps? It's your boy, Infamous Trainer, and today we're reacting to Pokemon Journeys episode 32 being Celebi, a timeless promise. This episode is more focusing in on Go and his storyline and more about his character and some things in the past, also showing us Celebi and much more. But if you guys are excited for today's video, if you guys are excited for the reactions coming back, give the video a like, share the video out, and hit that subscribe button to become a part of the PokeChamp family. But if you guys are ready, let's dive into the reaction, man. I can't wait. I can't wait. Oh man. It has been a while since I have reacted to a Pokemon Journeys episode. Ooh, we're getting kind of a flashback to the, like I said, the Hoenn region, if I'm correct, or Johto region. I can't remember. Oh, it's the Johto region. It's the Johto region. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Oh snap. Young goes dad. Young goes mom. Kind of crazy. Wait, no. That's current them. Why do they look different to me? Maybe we just haven't seen them in a while, and I just really, they just looked younger to me for some reason. But yeah, look at look at go. Wow, man, he's got his reboot. He's got a Sobble on the shoulder. Man, I'm telling you, Sobble's that secondary ace. He's gonna be the secondary ace for him. Yep, there you go. There you go. Disappeared. Disappeared. That's gonna be a running gag for Pokemon Journeys. Hey, staying at the cottage for the weekend. That's nice. Nice little getaway. Family time. Dang, mom and dad sleep gone, done. Oh my goodness, they were asleep fast. Okay, catch some, catch some Johto Pokemon. Might as well. Look at that. Look at Reboot and Sabo, dude. They look so, they look so happy with Go. I, I'm excited to see this episode to see more development. Man, I'm, I'm really excited. Ooh, what are we catching this episode? What the heck? It's little Go. Wow. <laughs> a little flashback to uh to like when he was younger, they fell asleep there too. Ooh, hoot hoot. I haven't seen hoot hoot in a very, very long time. Ooh, look at all these Jetto Pokemon Jip Jump Lift, Spinarax, uh Yanmas, Teddy Ursa, Dunsparce. Yo, that'd be a running gag if Go catches Dunsparce. And, um, and, uh, you know, Ash never catches one. That would be just too funny. Ooh, so this is after he found Mew. Okay, okay, okay. I like the continuity, kind of letting us know where it's at in the storyline. That's pretty dope. Oh, is that a Pokemon? Nah, nah, nah. Mew will not be that easy to find. It is a mythical, exactly. It is a mythical Pokemon. Is it, whoa, who is that? What is that? That thing is moving. That thing is fast. And who is that? Oh, is that the other kid we heard about in the summary? Is that his name is Tokyo? Celebi? Wow. Two kids searching and looking for mythical Pokemon. That's kind of crazy. Mischievous playing with them. Oh, come on. Oh, man. That's kind of cool, though. Looking for Celebi, and you're looking for Mew. Heck yeah. Oh, man. It's kind of crazy. He's from Tamba City. I'm not too sure exactly where that's from. Of course, you know that Go is also living in Kanto. So, you know, this is, this so far, the episode is pretty interesting. Uh, it almost kind of correlates to like how, uh, you know, Go met Ash and, you know, they were searching for like Lugia and stuff like that. I think it, it's like a small parallel to that, uh, even though this technically came out first. So, yeah, <laughs> you know, I, the kid, I believe his name is Tokyo, if I'm correct or something around there. Uh, he seems really impressed that Go got to even see Mew. You know what I'm saying? That's really, that's really cool. That's really cool. I'm excited to see what else, you know what I'm saying, kind of transpires this episode. Mmm, caught him. Caught him. He knows nothing about Celebi. He knows nothing about Celebi. Oh my goodness. Oh, snap. Hey, dude, Celebi's gotten so much promo because of like Pokemon Coco, uh, the special, um, ooh, okay. Okay, them effects. Um, you know, of course, Pokemon Coco. Um, in addition to that, just 
you know, getting the shiny Zarude and um, Celebi within Pokemon Sword and Shield, and then this episode comes out, like, there's so much, like, uh, Celebi hype, you know? Hey, you're confident enough to grasp the future in the palm in your hand. As we all know, that's, uh... <laughs> oh, so he actually got that line from a song. Yo, that's crazy. That's that's kind of that's kind of crazy. That's kind of crazy. That's kind of crazy. Oh, snap. Look at Go being a good person. So, hey, I'll help you search for Celebi. Because he'll like to meet Celebi, too. And that's, that's that's cool, man. This This episode is definitely a little bit more heartwarming versus like focusing on Ash and battling a world championship and catching Pokemon it's definitely focusing in on Ghost character hey is that Poly to Poly Toad right Poly Toad okay I'm not tripping Zatu hey what was that Natu that's Natu my bad my bad my bad what Pokemon is a a palm dude I miss a palm so much I miss a palm so much Oh snap, Larvitar. <laughs> Ash is Larvitar confirmed. Oh man. It's kinda crazy. They're searching everywhere for this Pokemon. Everywhere. Don't give up just yet. No, don't give up. Don't give up at all. What is that? Is that an old school like Pokedex or something? Jeez. This was like an early, early Pokedex. Oh my goodness. It's kind of crazy. Oh, so it kind of reports sightings. Okay, okay, okay. So it's by the shrine within the forest. That makes sense because that's where it's at in the Pokemon game as well. Ooh, let's see how far it is. Right through the caves. Hey, right through the caves. Oh man, two little kids going far, man. They're going real far in this journey to find uh, Celebi. Oh, so this is what the forest looks like in the anime. Pretty dope. I will say that grass is kind of tall because, uh, you know, they're pretty short and small and kids. Oh, snap. There you go. Run, 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 run. Ooh. Run, 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 run. I can only imagine a real area dose. Jesus. That would be some real scary stuff. Yo. Pineco. Get out of there, get out of there, get out of there. I, I forgot Pineco was really a thing. I, I, yo, I, I've never used him before. I've never heard of anyone actually using Pineco. It's kind of crazy. Maybe for rapid spin, but that's about it. That's about it. I can't, I can't. Oh, we just left Tokyo like that. Oh, he's back. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Oh, he has a Sun Flora, or he has his Sun Flora. That's kind of dope. That's kind of dope. Yeah, cut down the razor leaf. Exact. That's exactly what you need. It's exactly what you need right now. Hey, I never break my promises. That's just who I am. I'm go. Let's go ahead and resume. Resume search. Hey, use that razor leaf. Ooh, cut that grass nice and smooth. Mm-hmm. That way they can't run into any more Pokemon. And you can actually do that in the Pokemon games, which is, you know, a thing as well. But I think you do it with Cut, if I'm correct. Oh man, using the heck out of that. Hey, whoa. That's a Blossom, right? Whoa. Whoa. There's no winning in this forest. Nor do I think there's a Blossom in there. Hey. Oh, snap, taking a little break, looking at the stars. Aren't their parents worried? Aren't their parents, like, a, even a little bit worried about where they are, what they doing, where they could be, like anything? Oh, it's a starving star. That's kind of funny. <laughs> That's kind of funny, a starving star. Oh, snap. Rayquaza. That's a cool Pokemon. That's always been a cool and dope Pokemon. You know, more like, you know, even Jirachi's been a cool Pokemon as well, but Rayquaza's just a beast. Everyone likes Rayquaza, or just about everyone likes Rayquaza, I would say. Oh, he's freezing. Oh, man. Jeez, yeah. Yeah, I should head back. What are you gonna do about some Flora? You can't just leave him there? Oh, okay, okay, that's what's up. You put him on the back, that's dope. 
Oh man. They're both heading in opposite directions. A continue the search tomorrow. Huh? It's a promise. A so maybe this is where his like deprived like issue with friends comes from. Because I'm guessing this kid does not come back tomorrow. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. But for some reason, I think this kid doesn't come back tomorrow. Like at all. Boom, he's gone. Oh, man. Sunflora then goes there. But Tokyo isn't there. What? Oh, he he brought Coco and and Stu. Yo, that this honestly kind of hurts me. So I think this is really where it deprives of him, like not really being or having a lot of friends because of stuff like this. And it may not even be Tokyo's fault. Like it, it may not even be Tokyo's fault. Oh man, that sucks. And he's walking home in the rain. Dude. <sighs> this hurts me. This hurts me a lot. It really does. Wow. Oh man, Sobble and uh, Sobble and Rabu could feel that too. Hey, what do we catch? What do we catch? What do we catch? What do we catch? Ooh, who's up? Wait, who's he got? Scyther? Fire? Dude, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, these two are staples. These two are going to be staples on the team. And it's really cool to see Go just use more of his Pokemon, man. Oh, it's so dope. Keep going. They both don't slash. Hey, oh. You got, you got this, Go. Snap out of it. Catch that same one. Boom. Yo, I think I think honestly Go could be a bug type like master if he wanted to be. He could easily become a bug type master. Dude. That's dope. It's all the same Pokemon that he caught when he was with Tokyo. And then boom. Pokeball. Dude, he's dude, Go's just really good at catching bug Pokemon. That's just what it is. It's like no effort. This music is so, uh, not eerie, but it's definitely so like, ugh, it hurts. It really does. Oh, I don't say that, go. What the heck's going on with the trees? Is that so? What was that? <gasps> the shrine, we found the shrine. Hey. That's exactly what it is. It should come near the shrine, but will it be here at the shrine? That's always the question. And also look at the team. Look at the team. Whoa, what's this? What's this? Yo. What? What happened? What happened? What? Oh man, he even went back to all the areas. Dude. Ah, this hurts. This hurts my little heart. Oh. Even we came back the next year. Oh, come on. But it's not the same without Go. Uh huh. <sighs> oh, it's taking one. Dude. Dude, this hurts me. This hurts me so much. But, like, it's so heartwarming he just got sick man he just got sick and and go just took it completely wrong 
But that's crazy that he left him a note after all these years. You know what I'm saying? That's, yo, that's kind of crazy. It's kind of crazy. Oh, man. Yo, is that Tokyo? Yo, it's Tokyo! Hopefully I'm saying his name right. Exactly, okay, I, I am, I am, I am. Tokyo, look at him, he's, he got the he got the purple fit. He, he got Chikorita, like, come on. I mean, it fits, so it does fit him. Yo. Yo, that's, that's dope. This is really cool. Hey, yo, what the hell? Why is there shiny Celebi a regular Celebi? Yo, what? Whoa, 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 whoa. Wow, okay. Um, what the hell just happened? Dude, shiny Celebi, regular Celebi, like, that's something I didn't expect this to, to see. That was dope, though. I'm going to kind of leave it on this scene right here. Anyways, guys, if you enjoyed the reaction, man, overall, this episode was fantastic. Um, I enjoyed the aspects of just looking into Go's character, kind of what makes him what he is now. It kind of shows, you know, back in the day, Tokyo left him, and that's kind of why, even at the beginning of Pokemon Journeys, he had a lot of, like, you're not my friend, Ash, even when he did something that was slightly not to Go's liking. Um, so I think that definitely plays a part into that, but it was cool to see Tokyo again, and I'm hoping to see him as a reoccurring character, even maybe maybe a possible rival or additional travel companion for like you know when it's just a go based episode that would be pretty cool to see as i want to see what kind of what happened with a little bit of tokyo over that time like did he meet selby ever did he go back in time like what was the what was the case you know what i'm saying i think it'd be really cool to see all that with the pokemon journeys but overall it was really good for a go episode i don't have too much to complain about at all um if you guys enjoyed the video you guys liked it up like like it up if you haven't already go ahead and like it up you heard me you heard me look you yeah you you watching you right there. If you haven't liked the video, like the video. Share the video out so the people can see it. And subscribe to become a part of the PokeChamp family. We're so close to 5K. So let's hit that 5K. And I'll see you guys all next time. Thank you guys for watching. It's been your boy, Infamous Trainer. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.